All right, folks, Kenny Smith, Total Force Holdings. We're going to get back into the combatives world this week. And um, a lot of y'all who've been following me kind of got the idea that uh, I'm pretty hardcore about it. I like to train hard, and uh, that's, that's, that's what I do. So there's first thing we need to understand with the combatives world is if you're going hard on the bags or whatever, it that's not a hundred percent skill transfer to real world for a couple of reasons. Number one, if you're working with a training partner partner, you are not actually wanting to injure your training partner. You're not actually wanting to unalive them. Right. Uh, whereas someone in the street may very well be wanting to do exactly that. Uh, and the, the second is the presence of safety equipment of some form. Third being the presence of rules. If it's a sport based system, uh, which I've got nothing against sport-based martial arts. It's up to the individual end user to determine how to work around the rules and make sure their training is centered around real-world deployment as opposed to you playing the game. I say the same thing about competition shooting as well. So I think this week we're going to take a look at so some of the safety equipment for striking. Now, some of it you're not going to see for various reasons uh the first one and probably the most important for me is the mouthpiece and if you're working if you're getting hit okay you want your lower jaw to stay as close to stable as possible you don't want your teeth clacking together and you especially don't want to get hit in such a way where your tongue lolls out and then your teeth clack together so mouthpiece is extremely important uh the next one is a groin cup there's a reason that groin shots are illegal in every sport-based martial art out there there's a reason for that male or female that shit fucking hurts and it puts you at significant risk for permanent injury so if you're working with a partner no matter what you're doing two things should be present number one a groin cup number two a mouthpiece number three this isn't so much safety equipment right but this is like safety mentality when you're training uh, I catch help from people because I keep my fingernails and my toenails very, very short. And that comes from rolling around on the mats with people. You're not going to keep training partners if every time, you know, your fucking Edward Scissorhands self gets on the mat with them, you cut them up. All right. That obviously open blood that's got to be cleaned up off the mat. Whatever bacteria is on your skin, whatever bacteria is on their skin is now internal. So, uh, you know, take care of yourself in that regard. Uh, if you're sick, don't train. If you've got any kind of like open infection or anything like that, don't train. Wear a cup because getting hit in the pills hurts. And I do encourage folks to hit in the pills. It's very effective. And wear a mouthpiece. Patreon in the link tree.